हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज रणधीर सिंह एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ स्टडी आई क्यू आई एस इंग्लिश इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिस्कवरी डन बाय साइंटिस्ट इन आर मिल्की वे गैलेक्सी यस हुज हिंदी नेम इज आकाश गंगा सी इट वॉज अ वेरी रेयर स्टार सिस्टम विच हैज बिन डिस्कवर्ड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम बाई द साइंटिस्ट दे हैव नेवर सीन यू नो सच रेयर स्टार सिस्टम इन द मिल्की वे गैलेक्सी now this star system is called quadruple star system and in this star system there was four objects which are bound together two among them are red stars what two among them are red stars and two among them are my dear friends brown stars they are brown stars now red stars are also known as red dwarf stars what we also call them red dwarf stars and brown stars are also known as brown stars are also known as filled stars now why they are called filled stars we will discuss later before discussing this let us understand that what is the definition of star what is the definition of star now stars are those celestial objects in our universe in our galaxy which emit their own heat and light my friends so stars are a luminous objects luminous objects are those objects which emit their own heat and light how what is the source of heat and light that is nuclear fusion that is nuclear fusion because inside the core of these objects hydrogen fuel is burning right means hydrogen two hydrogen atom combine to form what helium and helium is what a source of heat and light <clears throat> but earth is not a luminous object even moon is not a luminous object why because inside their core the mass of their core is not enough to perform what nuclear fusion now moon actually reflects the light of sun this is why it looks bright now how many stars exist in our universe first of all universe is made up of trillion of galaxies trillion galaxies and each galaxy consists trillion of stars so galaxy is a huge congregation of stars now other than stars there also exist other luminous objects and these luminous objects are categorized or ca called as red dwarf or brown star now what scientists discovered they discovered two red dwarf stars and two brown dwarf stars which were bound together and they named it they called it upm j1040 3551 a double b a b very easy to <laughs> easy to remember right so this discovery was very rare it never has been it has never been seen before right now let us understand that if red dwarf is also a star then what is the difference between red dwarf and our sun our star because solar system in our solar system there is only one star the difference is of size see their origin how they form their formation is similar to sun they are formed out of nebula nebula a cloud cloud consists of gases and dust particles red dwarfs are also formed out of nebula brown dwarfs are also formed out of nebula what is the difference then the difference between red dwarf and my dear friends your sun is of size is of surface temperature is of age also now the surface temperature of our sun is 5500 degrees celsius whereas the surface temperature of red dwarf is very less in comparison to sun that is between 2400 2500 degrees celsius to 4400 degrees celsius this is the surface temperature of red dwarf now when it comes to size yes the size is also very less of what red dwarf than sun now they are 1000 times less luminous than sun and they are 1000 times less smaller than what your sun but inside their core hydrogen fuel is burning and this hydrogen fuel is burning very slowly my dear friends very slowly very slowly why hydrogen fuel is burning very slowly because the mass of red dwarf is not big enough 
like the mass of sun and due to the slow burning of hydrogen fuel they can exist in our universe for billion of years none of the red dwarf has died yet in the universe means right from 10 billion years ago till now none of the red dwarf has died and why they can live longer they can live longer than the sun why because hydrogen fuel is burning very slowly and if hydrogen fuel burns very slowly they will emit less light and they will emit less heat isn't it this makes their life longer now tell me which is the closest star to our solar system the closest star to our solar system is proxima centauri isn't it you know what it is it is a red dwarf i know many of you are amazed to know that proxima centauri is exactly not a star it is a red dwarf it is very small in size than sun and yes around this red dwarf there exist many planets in a similar manner like earth revolve around the sun there are also many celestial objects which revolve around red dwarf we call them exoplanet why we call them exoplanet because they are existing outside our solar system it means that this red dwarf has the possibility to make life possible on exoplanet yes similarly sun made life possible on earth these planets also have the possibility to make life possible on the planet which revolve around them so don't you think that their discovery and their understanding how they originated what is the age what is the temperature is very important for scientists because by knowing them we can reveal many mystery related to origin of universe related to origin of planet but when it comes to brown dwarf now what is brown dwarf? it is all is it also a star no my dear friends it is not a star let us first, first understand the size the size of brown star is very less it's very small in comparison to what your red dwarf but they are bigger than our solar system our planets now what are you know jovian planets they are four jupiter saturn uranus neptune now the size of brown dwarf is 70 times bigger than what your jupiter but they are less their small size is less than what your red dwarf and they are also formed from nebula but they do not perform hydrogen fusion means they are not a real star why because their core the mass of their core is not big enough to perform hydrogen fuel but to perform what your nuclear reaction nuclear fusion this is why they remain very cold if there is no source of heat in their inside their core then don't you think that their temperature will be very low this is why they are very cold and they do not emit light the light which they emit that is infrared rays and infrared rays is not visible due to this it is very hard for our scientists to discover them so what i told you that they are basically a missing link between stars here red stars and planets their size is what <clears throat> bigger than giant planet but smaller than red stars but their atmosphere is similar to jupiter now tell me what you find in the atmosphere of jupiter that is water vapor and methane you will also find atmosphere such atmosphere in brown dwarf now they are very they are cold and they are too faint they are very dark so it becomes very difficult to spot them but how astronomers this time they spotted them because they were existing with their companion who is brighter in color which is brighter in color and due to their brighter companion it became possible for the astronomers or scientists to study them only less than 5% of brown dwarf stars have their companion means 95% brown dwarf existing in our milky way galaxy are very hard to detect and just imagine if we have discovered them and we discovered very rare system see now studying them by studying them by knowing by knowing their age their temperature their chemistry with red dwarf it will be you know possible for us to understand that how stars and planets they formed after 
the collapse of gases cloud that is nebula that is nebula it will help us in understanding that how matter exist or spread in our space it will help us to understand many mysteries like dark matter so this was a discovery done by scientists i hope you liked it please share this video please also comment what doubts you are having in geography i will come up with those videos now my dear friends <clears throat> for all of you i have an offer an offer regarding our paid courses as you all know that study iq every week and every month come up with a very attractive and affordable courses to make your upsc journey successful so we are going to start a batch and the discount which we are providing on that batch it will end up by 35 august, 31st august after 31st august the price of this course will increase you can join our pratigya batch which is going to be going to start what on <clears throat> on what 29th august means today it is a evening batch live batch in this batch you will get many features like 1000 plus hours live classes every student will get one mentor you will be provided 17 18 colorful and you know highly enriched content book in your home and you have the you know opportunity to join our free offline classes by enrolling in this batch the feature is called prelims residential program if you will be among the toppers in our weekly and monthly test then study iq before you know your prelims we will call you Four to five months before your prelims, we will, we, we will invite you in our offline crawl back center, and we will provide you free of cost prelims coaching. And yes, your residence and your food will also be provided by Study IQ. That too free of cost. And if you will clear prelims, we will refund your full fee. And you also have the opportunity to win eleven thousand cash prize on every month if you. will talk in our what weekly and monthly test so what are you waiting for to join this course go to buy now option but before 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 purchasing or buying this course use my coupon code that is rdx life when you will apply this course you will see the course will come down to 2599 so 31st august is the last date do not forget to use my coupon code rdx life I will see you next video till then please take care jai hind jai bharat